Keys to the game brought to you by Wentz Orthodontics. Chris Level, Mr. John Harris. First of all, let's go over that uh, 66-31 win over uh, Iowa State last week. I mean, it's it's hard to be more efficient offensively. When you get four quarterbacks in the game, you, you pretty much checked all the boxes on what we wanted to accomplish going into a day if you're an offense. You set a modern-day record for total offense in a ball game, too, and uh, really look impressive. Score 10 of 15 times. You really are able to do what you want to do. And again, as Patrick Mahomes gets a little bit more healthy, uh, you can just see how, how effective he is. I mean, you do a great job running the football. You do a great job throwing the football nearly 500 yards in that first half of the game. I mean, you clearly set the tone. And then the defense, which didn't start out so well, got much better in the second half. And so everything really fell into place in that one. And I, and I don't see that one against Iowa State being all that much different from the game coming up against Kansas. And this is a tricky one. Obviously, you, you, you go on the road, which is always tricky. You play an early game, which is tricky, home or away. It's also a team that hasn't won a game this year. And so you have a tendency to look at that 0-5 uh, record and think, ah, man, you know, th this isn't going to be a big deal. And I think you, that's kind of your key to the game here. Well, it's, it's a lot like it was against Iowa State. Cyclones hadn't had a great deal of success. Kansas has had no success coming into this one. And earlier in the week, Cliff said, if you don't think it's a big game, try losing it and see what happens then. So that's, I think that's the message he has tried to pound into his guys during the course of the week. No, Kansas hasn't had much go their way this season, but you struggled a bit with them a year ago. They, they almost had TCU beaten there a year ago. They beat Iowa State at home, and the teams are very similar, Kansas, from a year ago. I mean, they've got a lot of young guys playing, a coaching change but they didn't have much success then, but they found a way to find it on a few days in the course of the season. So you're riding high, you're, you're feeling good about what you did against Iowa State, but do not go to Kansas and overlook the Jayhawks and think we just show up and win the ball game because that, that doesn't happen anymore in college football. Can make news for all the wrong reasons. Yeah, yeah that's right. T t to me, this is about Texas defense. I, I think offensively, you're going to score points in this game. I, I think no matter who's playing quarterback, I think you're very explosive and, and, and you've got some of your weapons uh, back, it looks like, uh, this week. But, you know, I talked to Mike Alway earlier this week and he says, we, we don't have the right to feel good about anything we've done. We, we, we haven't stopped anybody. And, and, and I haven't been the player that I need to be and we haven't been the defense we need to be. This is a Kansas team that's averaging 20 points a game. They're starting a true freshman quarterback. There's not a lot of juice, you know, as far as some of the uh, players that they've got. And so, in my opinion, it's all about Tech's defense this week. It's